you know, sometimes one of the hardest things to do is take a machine that is working perfectly and make modifications to it. Modifications not like in the hot rodding days where you took your car that was running great and you put a new cam in it, new headers, new pistons, rocker arms, port and polish the heads. Those are serious upgrades. This upgrade is not about making the machine faster or better. It is about increasing the life of the rack and pinions, mostly the pinions. So what I'm going to do is take the rack off and add these spacers behind them, spacers that Nate sent from Fine Line Automation. He built the frame for this machine. It is awesome. This is the prototype for the Saturn series, the two by four. But one problem is, as you can see, the rack is bolted directly to the frame and that lets the pinion not contact the full, it's hard to video, There is a space between the frame and the pinion, and obviously because you wouldn't want the pinion to rub on the frame. But that means that the pinion is not fully engaged on the rack. So what Nate came up with, several of us Saturn owners got with him and we discussed quite a few different ways to make this better. So what Nate came up with is these spacers to put behind the rack and that will space that out to where we can get full engagement of the pinion. So I've got five of these, two for each rack on the Y movement and one for the X movement. It actually is fully engaged, but I'll put it on anyway. So I just finished doing some walnut work and some finishing, some spraying of nitrocellulose lacquer. And I don't have any jobs pressing on the CNC this afternoon. So I figured a good Friday afternoon project would be to put these spacers on. I haven't decided if I'm going to just loosen the rack and put the spacers behind them or if I'm going to pull the rack completely off and clean everything and then put it together. I'll decide that in a minute. Right now I have to clean everything up and I'll probably start on the far side. because. I don't have much room to work here, not much room to video. So I'll probably do this and then video doing the other side. One of the things that I want to do is make sure I get the spring tension correct when I put these back. It's right now, so I want to keep it that way. And that is right at an inch and a sixteenth to the top of the washer. So that's where I'll tension it again. I only need to back it off far enough to drop the pinion off of the rack. But I'm going to see what the wear is like on the pinion. So this one I'm taking all the way off. Now that I have both sides loosened, this moves, the gantry moves pretty easily. So I can move it out of the way to get to the bolts.
here's a handy tip for you. You got something like this, and you need to stand it up. Just put it in your shop brush. It's got some wear, but it's not significant. It'll create a new wear pattern now that it's in a different place. Got the spacers in place. Both sides. Nice clean installation. I did not do the X because I need longer bolts and I don't have any. But it has full contact anyway on the pinion. So I'll leave that for right now. And as you can see, I have full contact on the Y axis now. So that's better. Alright, I'm going to fire it up and see what it does. Well, let's check it out.